we're striking here today um, to protect our pension. Um, the government is expecting us to um, pay more, work longer and get less and we think that's, that's wrong. Uh, someone like myself is expected to lose around about £130,000 across the rest of their career and, and retirement and we're just um, making a stand against that. We're on strike over pensions. The pensions of the private sector have been smashed up over the last 10 12 years. The only people in the private sector with decent pensions are the FTSE 100 bosses. And the smash out of those private sector pension schemes is now used as an excuse to start smashing up our pensions. attitude is that working people should defend their pensions, we should defend them industrially, we should defend them politically and we should fight to restore decent pensions to the private sector. And we should start to to restore the state pensions so all the elderly people are already retired on minimal incomes should have a, a decent pension that fits the wealth of this country. This isn't a public sector dispute, it's a national dispute, it's about working people wherever they work and that's why we're on strike. This morning to uh, protest about the proposed cuts to our pensions. Okay. And what's happening to the pensions? Uh, they want to increase our contributions to make us pay more each month, make us work longer, and yet make us receive a lot less. Oh, it's like GEC arriving just at a perfect time there. Oh, hi, David. Oh, hi, David. Hello, how are you? to people's criticisms that public sector pensions are very good compared to private sector pensions. Is there much truth in that? I would say there isn't a truth in that. The, the real lie is that public sector pensions are great. The truth is private sector pensions are terrible because the government allows them to be. Public sector pensions are not great, they're just average. What we really need to do is protect public sector pensions and make a push on private sector pensions to get fair pensions for all.
of the interesting things from our pickets this morning is that you can see one of our members who's here with her daughter and her grandson. And there's a, a four-year-old boy over there who's sitting there discussing, you know, how's it going to be for him in 20, 30 years' time, 50 years' time, when he's considering his pension. So it's a real family thing today. And we're seeing, you know, across generations coming out on picket lines because it's a, it's a thing that's going to impact everybody. their contracts, the pension arrangements being torn up um, and this is because we've been demanded to be paying out for the 1% paying into the bankers' bailouts um, but we need to say no. to say no. If women get together in unity and solidarity, they won't have a chance against us. And I think that that's really what we ought to do. I'm disgusted with the way this government is treating the future of our kids. Um, students having their fees tripled. I don't know if I'm going to have students to teach next year. I teach at a working class university. Are those kids going to be able to afford to go to university anymore? And even if they can't go to university, what jobs have they got to go to anyway? Their future's being torn up. That's why I feel solidarity with all these kids down here at the Occupy camp. I'm on a picket line today to try and persuade people to support us in making sure that pensions for the public sector are maintained as they are. At the moment, current pensions are really not very good for the public sector, despite what the media might say. We have an average pension in the NHS for women of less than £4,000 a year. So to cut that is absolutely making it almost impossible for NHS workers to be able to survive in the NHS and have a decent income when they retire.